So Mr. Ramaphosa, in one of his election campaign speeches, decided to declare war on foreigners, saying that the South African government is going to hammer down on foreigners in the country uh, and that things are about to become tougher. What Mr. Ramaphosa does not tell South Africans is that he and the ANC are part of the problem. They continue to prop up a ZANU-PF government in Zimbabwe by protecting them and pretending that the killings are not happening, that the raping of our children is not happening. Every time that the international community has wanted to come forward and intervene, it has been ANC that has stopped that from happening. ZANU-PF has not won elections since the 2000s. And we as Zimbabweans do not want ZANU-PF anymore. In 2008, ZANU-PF lost elections, and ANC sent Mbeki to say, no, no, Mugabe is not going anywhere. You need to be careful, South Africans, because one of these days you're going to end up just like Zimbabwe. These are fake leaders. All they are interested in doing is protecting their brotherhood of dictatorship so they can continue to loot and steal the resources of the country. They're using the same tactics on you as ZANU-PF uses on us Zimbabweans, divide and rule. We're not saying that Ramaphosa is responsible for what the government in Zimbabwe does, no. What I'm saying is that ANC and Ramaphosa are responsible for protecting ZANU-PF and leaving us, the citizens, even more vulnerable to the ZANU-PF government, which thinks it's appropriate to open fire on citizens. What are we supposed to do when they open fire on us, when we demonstrate and say we don't want this government anymore? What are we supposed to do when the soldiers come and rape our children, sodomize our sons? What are we supposed to do? Ramaphosa, as far as he's concerned, decides to turn a blind eye and protects that. So for as long as we have no stability in Zimbabwe, unfortunately, you are going to have to continue to accommodate your Zimbabwean brothers and sisters. We will continue to come over the border because it's the closest and safest place we can go for safety and for employment. So be careful of these fake leaders, these hypocrites who will say what they need to say to be elected. But what are you, what are you electing? Who are they? And what kind of government would they give you?